Welcome to Diapering 101. You may be new to the diapering scene or a pro with lots of experience in changing diapers. In either case, this video is for you. Diaper changing in a childcare facility is different than changing your own child's diaper at home because there are lots of children in childcare and the urine and stool in diapers can contain germs that could make other children and staff sick if you aren't using safe procedures. Join me to learn the steps for healthy, safe diaper changing. Cover the changing surface with non-absorbent disposable paper that is long enough to cover the area from the child's shoulders to below the child's feet. The paper liner makes it easier to keep the child and the changing surface clean. If you open the diaper tabs and find a really messy diaper that leaks onto the changing surface, a quick fold of the paper liner contains the mess. Gather all your supplies. Were you a Girl Scout or Boy Scout at one time? Be prepared is their motto. You want to have all the supplies at your fingertips, but out of reach of the child so you won't need to hunt and reach for supplies when there's a wiggly child on the changing surface. Leaving a child on the changing area while you go search for a box of wipes is not an option. And don't trust safety straps or harnesses to keep a child secure. Be prepared with all your supplies so you stay with the child. Notice this changing area has sides to prevent a child from rolling off. It's still a good idea to always keep one hand on the child because you never know where these little wigglers are going. As soon as you open a soiled diaper, you run the risk of spreading germs to everything you touch. If you have all your supplies in easy reach, you won't spread germs from your hands to the container of wipes, the tube of diaper cream, or to other supplies. So, think about what you'll need ahead of time and set these supplies at the end of the changing area, above the child's head, and out of the child's reach. Supplies you'll need will include a clean diaper, at least four or five wipes, and disposable gloves if you choose to use them. If the child uses diaper cream, squeeze a dab from the tube onto a tissue and lay the tissue with the other supplies. If the child's clothes are soiled, your supplies should include a set of clean clothes and a plastic bag where you place the soiled clothes. There should be a plastic lined trash can with a lid that can be opened without using your hands such as a can with a foot pedal, next to the changing area. A hands-free trash can makes it easy to toss the dirty diaper and use supplies when you're finished. Here's our first candidate for a fresh diaper. Before carrying a child to the changing area, look first to see if the diaper leaked, soiling the child's clothing. Soiled clothing contains germs. Position this child carefully to keep soiled clothing away from you as you carry to the changing area. Place the child on the changing surface and remove the child's pants or clothing that is below the waist. Put any soiled clothing into a plastic bag. You should also remove the child's shoes and socks if you won't be able to keep them from touching soiled skin or surfaces. Now, unfasten the diaper tabs, keeping the soiled diaper under the child. Clean the child's genital area and then lift the child's legs to clean his or her bottom. Wipe from front to back one time and place the soiled wipe in the dirty diaper. If more cleaning is needed, pick up a new wipe to continue. The rule for wipes is one use and done. The child is clean. The soiled wipe should be in the dirty diaper. Now fold the diaper forward, pick it up, and place it in the trash can. Here's where the paper liner on the changing surface comes in handy. If any stool or urine leaked out of the diaper onto the changing surface, just pick up the end of the paper and fold it back under the child's bottom to cover the soil. Now you have a clean work area. If you're wearing gloves, it's time to remove them and drop them in the trash can. Removing disposable gloves is different than taking off winter gloves. Pinch the first glove at the wrist and pull down, touching only the outside of the glove. Ball up the dirty glove in the palm of your gloved hand. Now, slide two fingers under the glove at the wrist. Pull the glove toward your fingers, turning the glove inside out as you're taking it off. 
the germs and soil are contained inside the gloves which are ready to drop into the trash can. Now, pick up a wipe, use it to clean your hands, and throw it away. Pick up another clean wipe, clean the child's hands, and throw the wipe away. Open the clean diaper and slide it under the child. If the child needs diaper cream, you have it ready on a tissue to apply. Toss the tissue in the trash when you're finished. Fasten the diaper and get the child dressed. Thank you, Jessa. You did such a good job. Almost done. Thank you. Take the child to the sink and wash his or her hands with liquid soap and water for 20 seconds. Singing makes hand washing fun. Try singing Happy Birthday twice or one verse of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star to make sure you're washing for a full 20 seconds. Dry the child's hands with a paper towel and use the towel in your hand to turn off the faucet. Thank you, Jessa. This child is clean and ready to return to play in a supervised area. Time for cleanup. Fold the paper liner and throw it in the trash. If the changing surface looks clean, the next step is to disinfect. If you see stool or urine on the changing surface, clean the area first with a mixture of dish detergent and water. It's handy to have a spray bottle with a mixture of dish detergent and water next to the changing area for this purpose. You'll also need a bottle of plain water to rinse after washing and paper towels to dry the surface. Now disinfect. Spray the changing surface with disinfecting solution and allow required standing time for the solution to do its job. If you use a bleach water solution for disinfecting, the standing time is two minutes. If you use a commercial disinfecting solution, check the label for the correct amount of standing time. You may want to set a timer to make sure you allow the proper amount of standing time. Be sure to read the labels of commercial disinfectants carefully. Some may require rinsing with plain water after standing time. If other children aren't waiting for diaper changes, you could leave the disinfecting spray on the changing surface to air dry. Otherwise, allow for standing time and then wipe the surface dry with a clean paper towel. You're ready for the next diaper change. It's your turn to wash your hands with liquid soap and warm water. 20 seconds for you too. Dry your hands with a clean paper towel, then use the towel to turn off the faucet. Record the time of the diaper change, contents in the diaper, and any special notes such as a loose stool or skin irritation in the child's log, and you're done. Congratulations, you've gone through the steps of a safe diaper change. Now let's fine tune your technique to make the process more pleasant for the child. Jack, look, I'm gonna show you diaper, okay? Be ready, Jack. We're going to back up the video. No, we need to go further back. That's it. The fine tuning begins as you're thinking it's time to change a child's diaper. How would you feel if someone swooped in, grabbed you while you were working, and carried you away? That's how a child feels when an adult swoops in and carries her away for a diaper change. Warning children ahead of time is a sign of respect, and it helps children to learn you can be trusted. It's hard to trust someone who swoops in and carries you away. Now, picture yourself as a child lying on the changing area. You look up and what do you see? Wow, that was scary. Infants and toddlers love to see faces. 
What face will a child see when he looks at you while getting his diaper changed? Think of diaper changing as a perfect time for one-to-one -one conversation with a young child. Children will love to see a smiling face and hear cooing, talking, singing, and step-by-step -step details of what you're doing. Make sure diaper changes are safe and a special time shared between you and the child.